everybody and welcome back to Eat What You Sew with Co. So in today's episode, I finally got myself a crock pot to try to help me with this plant-based eating. And so today I'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff in the crock pot and let's see how it goes. Um, I'm actually going to do two episodes today, so they'll be posted separately. Super excited to have you back with me. Um, if this is your first time and you're not subscribed, just please hit the big red subscribe below. Alrighty. Okay, Let's guys, so going. here are the ingredients that we're going to use for our first crock pot recipe. Um, like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing stuff in there and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything for the crock pot. Oh God, I gotta cut stuff. Um, uh, my mom actually got me a chopper. So, and she's been harassing me if I've used the chopper. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this chopper and chop everything up. So the first thing I'm gonna do though, I don't need the chopper for this. I'm gonna put the spinach in there. It's actually a lot of spinach, but you know how spinach is. You cook it and you have like a whole pile of spinach and you cook it and you have like a pea sized amount of spinach. And then I got these big pieces of cabbage. Dave hates cabbage. How, like again, like how can you hate cabbage? But I'm gonna like just put strips in there. Then we have um, this, this broccoli and cauliflower. Oh, oh great, I ripped the side, damn it. I ripped the side. So I don't know if we do the whole, you know what, I'm gonna do, I think, it, can you put the whole piece? I'll probably, should I cut it? I don't know. You know maybe I'll just cut it a little bit. Like, oh God, it gets, the, it gets stuff everywhere, ugh. and Dave to eat a bunch of stuff he doesn't like. He doesn't like cauliflower either. Like, how can you not like, cauliflower is so good. One of these days I'm gonna do like a cauliflower steak recipe. So we have these Brussels sprouts. I guess I'm just gonna put them in there like this, like whole like that. I don't, I don't think there's any need to chop them. I don't know. Gonna throw a few in there. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna try to use this chopper thing. I think first I should cut like how much onion I want. I don't know how much I want, so maybe I'll just do that much. Like, I don't know that much onion I'm gonna put it in the chopper and see how that works ew that's weird why is the bowl blue what is going on why is this bowl blue something in that I put in here is causing the bowl to go blue that's freaking weird oh the cabbage probably the cabbage is probably why that bowl's blue so now I guess there's these little grates that tells you like what size you want. So I just put the onion there, and push it down. I don't know if I'm doing this right. I'll probably break this thing. Okay, this is like hard to push down. It's like really hard. Okay, this is, my mom made it sound like this is easy. This thing is super hard to push down. Okay, so maybe not that big of a piece. Ugh, you cannot push this thing down like that. You have to. What in the hell is going on? Okay, I 
guess you gotta do each layer of the onion. Something is wrong with this onion. So now, what else can I chop with this? I got the garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and put the garlic on there. Chop that up. Chop the garlic up. Okay. I don't think. Oh, it does chop a potato. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Wow. Look how it makes the potatoes like that. Oh my God. That's cool. Oh, my eyes are burning from the onion. My eyes are burning. This chopper is pretty good. It, like, look at the small potatoes. It looks pretty good. Look at that. So I'm gonna do some, I wanted some bigger potatoes. I just wanted to play with that freaking chopper. So now I'm gonna cut up these potatoes into bigger pieces. Hopefully they're cooked all the way. I don't know how to use a crock pot. I've never used a crock pot before in my life. So hopefully these potatoes are not, uh, hopefully they're gonna be cooked all the way. Do you have to put liquid in a crock pot all the time to cook stuff or can you can you make like stuff dry in the crock pot? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up crock pot recipes. You know, because now that I'm home, before I was always paranoid, I didn't want to use a crock pot because I was paranoid that if I wasn't here, the cat somehow would knock it down and start a fire in the house. So I was scared uh, to get a crock pot because of the cats. But now that I'm home working on the channel, you know, I can do more crock pot recipes. Okay, so that's all the potatoes. Okay, so we have all of our dry ingredients in the crock pot. Here's all of our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add the pepper and then I'm gonna add the uh, vegetable broth to it and then put the lid on, I guess. I guess that's it. So like I said, I don't know how to do this, you guys. I'm just like doing stuff, I don't know. You know, I have no like plan or reason for doing anything. I'm just literally just doing stuff. So I have no idea like how much of this I should be pouring in. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna do the whole thing because it looks like it's gonna fit it all. So I guess I'm making a soup, I guess. I don't know, a stew, I guess. I don't know if this is even enough vegetable broth because the water's not all the way to the top. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, so this will be an experiment. Hopefully I don't start a freaking fire or something ridiculous. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some pepper on here. Then I'm gonna do some cayenne pepper, give it a little kick. I guess I can add more pepper and salt after it's done if it's not like if I don't think it's decent I guess that's it that was like really short so I don't know we're gonna plug it in let it sit for like four or five hours and then we'll check back in and find out how it tastes in the meantime I'm gonna work on my salad dressing um, recipes so stay tuned it's not a game. It's a Mother, what's up? What are we doing? We're we're testing food today. We have some some stuff to test, so I'm gonna have to plate it stuff. because you didn't tell me that you were coming home. So there's two different things to test. You are already testing. So I'm gonna go ahead and and pause this and plate your food for you, and then we can test. So we have one of the epi one of the things. One of the things is a crock pot meal um, that I put together on my own. 
You get a crock pot meal. Thank you. Yeah, dance for me. Okay, and then the other thing, and that's what you smell is the crock pot. It's still cooking right now. It's been cooking, you know, for like five, six hours now. I just fell asleep for 20 minutes, and now my head hurts so bad I can't even, like, think. Let's test what you boys told me. This is a crock pot deal. I made it up. That's a crock, all right. I made it up on my own. Um, so, I'm the guinea pig. Wait, let me see, because I haven't even gotten this all done yet. I haven't tried it either, right of it. You know what, I need to try it and read it too. Why don't we read it together? So we're going to go ahead and try this together because I haven't tried it yet either. So we'll try it as a pair. Okay. Hold on, no, no, no. Give me this one. Can you move over oh, so I can have some space? On. Give me this one. Give me this one. Now you try that one. I knew you were going to do yeah. that. Yeah. So I purposely put certain things in your dish though. We'll try it first. Try it. Okay. It's very hot. He's worried about the poison. You're eating one piece of broccoli, huh? Not even, okay. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm I'm get over there. I'm you done. have to try a potato. I'm done. So some of the potatoes are smaller than other potatoes because I was trying out my dicer, but then I decided I wanted big potatoes. So now I have little potatoes and big potatoes in here. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts on, on it? I think it could use some salt. Don't you think? I added garlic. I was too. literally about to say that noise I heard last night must have been the burglar. It must have been a break in. A break in of what? He came in and stole all the spices while we were sleeping. He went for the you know what? Since you're such a gem chef and you have he all these the fantastic salt ideas, you should do a rep uh, an episode. So the next time you're gonna do a crock pot recipe, come up with recipe. it on your own. Come up with it on your own and just cook stuff. Is it not my obligation to give the taste test rating? Hey. Okay, so the veggies are cooked absolutely perfect. What is your rating on? Boop. It does need some salt. Which is fine. I did say when I was putting it in there that if we need to add salt later, we could. No. Get off me, dude. No. Okay. So what is your rating on this? You an eight? An eight? Wow, that's high. It's pretty good, actually. What is this? Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. What it's is it? It's a Brussels sprout. Try it. It's really, babe. What is that? Albina. I don't even like Brussels sprouts, but I put them in here just to try them. It's so soft. You would like it, I think. You want to see it? It's right here. Ah. Uh, Dip, babe, do you have anything else to add? Besides salt? Maybe a little, uh... Oh, add. As in comments? No, I'm good. I'm good. Alright. We're gonna do the exit. Alright, you guys. So, we have our final ratings in. And Dave rated this one at 8. Um, so, that's... Interesting. He actually rated this one higher than I'm going to rate this one. So I'm going to rate this one a seven. It's pretty good. Definitely needed some salt in the end there. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Um, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe to me. Hit the circle of my face and move that freaking spoon out of my face. Now move it away from me. Hit the circle of my face wherever it is. Hit the circle of my face wherever I'm popping up on the screen. Also, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support. 
Thanks again, you guys. I look forward to next time.